loads of people on this app to the point where um, that I've made them want to SH and all the rest of it, right? This is a woman who, I'm not going to mention the name, but most of you will probably know, mm. affected somebody, so a man so badly and taunted him for a long time to the point where he actually felt in that position, right? Now, that seems yeah. to get forgotten about, but it's very true. And out mm. of respect, I'm not going to mention his name, but most people know that who know who that is, right? Yeah. That, that was Kelly that done that, okay? Fucking hell. So, also, what about Cooper? Mm. What you've done to Cooper, Kelly? Now, me and Cooper don't talk anymore, but what about what you've done to Cooper? Yeah? What about what you've done to Chloe in the comments? Chloe with the pink heart. What about what you've done to Angie? Any, any, any others? Because there is quite a few. So, I'm not, I'm not Tam. I, I just stated that I wasn't going to say his name, and I haven't. Um, so yeah. So don't tell me that I've affected people Angie when well. it's Sorry. a fake account. <laughs> when okay. you, when you have affected people, right? And I know Angie's going to jump on the back of this and rah rah rah. And I don't give a shit about you, Angie. You're irrelevant to me. I don't even care. Um, you've got nothing to talk about. You're falling off, so you've got to talk about me. Um, but yeah, so don't turn around and say to me that I've made you SH and that I've... There you go, look, there's Chloe in the comments. I've put myself in hospital oh, twice me. because of her, mm -hmm. all right? Okay, also what you've done to Tink, yeah? Tink, who was going through the probably the worst time in her life and, re and relied on you as a friend... Oh, and yeah. you went in basically shut on her. Oh, Angie, yeah, yeah. Angie, you're you're a drink driver, mate. You're a drink driver. You drank drove four three times, so just jog on because mm -hmm. no one cares about oh, you, you're yeah. irrelevant. Anyway, um Yeah, so does anybody else want to say anything? Well, she decided yeah. her and Pearl decided to mock my voice for Tuesday solid. Yeah, I heard that as well. Yeah. Said they want to stamp on my neck. Sounded like a freaking chicken. That's Two disgusting. days from Sick, man. It's disgusting. <sighs> oh, yeah, they've sat there. They've mocked They've mocked you. They've um, took the mick out of Yvonne's voice. Um, yeah. You're right. What, love? The thing is, though, we're all witness to the hate that she formed on Boston. Yeah. You know what I mean? She accused him of saying something he didn't, and and everybody did because she, they, she had trauma. Well, she had trauma dumped on everybody, so they couldn't see past the trauma. Made up this big thing that he had done, and he had a lot of backlash from that, and all he ever did was try and support her. She, and also, yesterday, she was slagging off Paula, wasn't she, Yvonne? Yeah, she was slagging off. Slating oh, Paula. Yeah. Slagging off Nanny D, Nanny D. Slagging off Nanny D. Oh, there's um, loads of group chats, there's loads of group saying, chats. She's saying that we're all in a group chat. Um... It's all right, Tam, don't worry. Um, saying that we're all in this group chat talking about them. I ain't in any group chats. Never in the group chat now, you will slag each and every one of us off. And Tracy seems to have that. And she acts like she's holding on to it. I think she's going to use it. That's the thing I got with her. Can I, can I just say something, please? Go on, Buster. I want my chair back! <laughs> God, you <laughs> think. <laughs> Well, you ain't getting it back, all right? Because there's two different <laughs> stories of what even happened to it. Oh, that was hilarious as well. So the day that she chucked the chair over the balcony, apparently oh. she got arrested, taken to hospital and released within four hours. Now, anybody oh. that's been arrested and been in custody, you would just know that that doesn't happen. No. All right? So that was a lie. And that was all my fault as well. She put all that on me and said that that was my fault she got arrested. Well, I'm sorry, Kelly, but I don't make you chuck chairs over balconies, love. <laughs> well, no, well, she said, oh, yeah, bro, you, Paul, are you two-faced? And whatever, and you, whatever oh, goes on in this WhatsApp group, <laughs> you're two-faced about it. So I don't know what's going on in group, WhatsApp chats, but you're two-faced. And she also said that don't think you're all sweet and innocent because you come across to be this... It was somewhat along those lines, wasn't it? You come across to be this lovely woman, well, you're but you're not really, that. and all the rest of it. I know for a fact the only she... group chat that Paul is in is with Jill and Mama G, and that's just like three people, three friends. Yeah. There's no others. She went up to Jeffrey as well. 
she, <clears throat> she did. She um, but she really did say that about Paula, and I said, mm -hmm. I'm not being funny. She's not the one. Pearl, I'm just wondering start. what you're doing in my box. No, oh. she's coming for me, and I don't, because I will have you. I will rag so you. If you come I'm not me, quite Pearl. sure why you're not blocked, Pearl. To be honest, because this is my um, this is my second account. Does anyone want to listen to what she's got to say or? Yeah, because if she rags me, I will rag you. Trust me, Pearl, be warned. Right. I promise you, Pearl. I promise you now, Pearl. It is you. Uh, somebody said that you've just said that I said I was going to stamp on your neck. When yes, it's up and good, like a chicken. When did, no, when did I say that? Okay. Okay. You've done it for three days, Pearl. No, definitely not. You go look at the video. What I said was, it sounds like it sounds like somebody has stamped on a neck. Well, that's all right, isn't it? That's all right, isn't it? Well, I'll see how you fuck. Did you think you are knocking my phone? You're racist. See you later, Pearl. You're a racist. You can get out. You're a racist. Don't think we forgot about you because we haven't. So that makes it all right then. So because you didn't say, so because you just said she sounds like it, that makes it all right. Okay. Don't think so. That makes it any better, does it? I know. She's vulgar. She's vulgar. Absolutely vile. Oh, shut up. Don't be sorry, Yvonne. Don't. Someone block her. Someone block her. Racist. Get out of here. No problem. I'm on it. Don't stand by racist, Pearl. She's gone. The big thing is, people need to remember Goodbye. there's a difference between what they think is the truth and facts. Mm. And, and when they make a leap based on a bunch of facts that they think are true, and they make, they're not just making a leap, they're just creating fantasy. I've never heard such leaps such of ridiculousness in my life as I heard in the, some of those things from Kelly, like you saying she's a freak, is mocking this, that and the other. What? Can, what? Twisting mind leaps that, that far. She's sick, isn't she? Like, yeah. this is actually pretty sick, what she's doing. Yeah. Um, right, guys. I just want to jump up to say... Um, Sorry, Gems, two is, sets left. Sorry, yeah. Gemma Shewelly is a hypocrite. Um, she went mad because we were talking about Bergerman and lying about being his child being in hospital. And mm -hmm. she went mad. She went, kids should be brought into it. Kids should be brought into it. She even set up her own life to go mad about it, even though the lie was about his child being in hospital. Um, and now she's brought up your child, Claire. Complete for I know. I know, right? And I didn't see that. Mm -hmm. I didn't see it. But the fact that you've even mentioned my child, what's my child got to do with anything? I've never mentioned anyone's kids. Exactly. Never mentioned your children either, Kelly. Never. In all of our arguments that we've had, I have never, ever mentioned your kids. But you, what you said about me was, oh, thank God I'm not her mum. Look at the way she's been brought up. That's what you said. Yeah. Wow. About my mum. Yeah, but she's I'm going to jump down anywhere, but I'll be, I'll be in the comments. All right, now. yes. Right. You're right, Jens. Yeah, thanks um, for coming in, right? Go on, Jen. Yeah, thanks for letting me up. Um, I know there's people in in the um, boxes that probably don't like me very much. Um, but, no, listen, um, everybody's, listen, everybody can have their say in this live. And in a minute, I'm going to even say, if anybody's in here to defend Kelly, you're more than welcome to come into this box, all right? If you've got anything to say. Go on, Jen. Sorry, love. Yeah, so I'm going to go back to, I think it was like October and November times. Um, obviously, everyone knows that I was quite good friends with Kels. Um, and I did, I stood by her through thick and thin, and we did have a really good relationship. Um, but the thing, it, what happened was I realised quite quickly, and I was warned, you know, by a lot of people, um, but I saw the good in her and that, and I stuck up for her in Alex's live that day. Thank and. You, yeah. I felt attacked and I literally was shaking. I was crying. I started up my own live and um, Kel Kels was there and everyone, you know, from your side came over and I did, you know, me and you, Chloe, we've spoken, right? Um, and I did feel attacked and everything. And I just felt like I didn't get the backing that I had given her, if that makes sense. Um, and now I'll go back a little while as well, like summertime. So basically, Kels basically made me 
block people because she was paranoid that um, her haters were coming through my me. Do you know what I mean? When I was in the box sort of thing. So I was just like, okay, cool. I, you know, I don't want to see you upset or anything. So I blocked a few people. Um, and I think that led to people hating on me and, you know, whatever. <coughs> Which is fair enough. Now, what I find very funny is I came off the app because I literally had a breakdown. It, um, but what happened was before that, sorry, I'm just talking in tongues here, I'm a bit nervous. Um, so in the summer, Geraldine's lot came for me and Tracy and, sh and sh um, they called us a pedlo, right? Now that, I took that really hard because I have been, you know, um, a victim of, you know, sexual abuse yeah so um and i confided in tracy now tracy was just like oh just let it go it's not it's not your real life no it is my real life because it's affecting me right thank you jojo um and i just felt like i didn't have no support whatsoever and um she had used tracy had used me to get to you chloe um yeah she because she knew i was friends yeah she really did and she trod on my head to, because she was always trying to get into you know i want to be in with the big creators i want to be on the for you page blah 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 now i find it quite funny that now we're in this they're in a situation her and irish cows are in a situation where they're like now best friends when they couldn't stand each other oh, no, right. Each other, right so um and it does hurt actually it does really hurt even though like, I'm not a person that will just, just get over things quite easily. I'm quite a sensitive person. So when I see, you know, two people, you know, two people, you know, two people, have to tell them what why I was triggered. Now, why I told that information to Kels, right? And do you know what she done with that? Rather than support me like a friend should, do you know what she done? She twisted it and she fucking used Angie as an excuse and my situation to self-harm. I think that was the night when she, um, sorry, it's SH, sorry, sorry, guys. It's all right, it's all right. Um, that was the night when, when she did SH, right? and everyone knew about it on the app it was that day right and then she went on about oh you know um, angie called me a pedalo da, 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 da. like i was going to come up on live and talk about it about these things because i felt really affected you know like and i i speak about mental health a lot on my platform where i used to do anyway on yeah. live and i just felt really shut down and used and she used and abused my situation to have a dig at Angie and and say that Angie has caused her to SH. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like it's just it's really yeah, fucking leave, twisted. Leave really Buffy twisted. There, guys. Sorry, uh, the gems are saying. Yeah, leave Buffy, guys. She's okay. She's fine. Yeah. So she. So instead of being a friend to you, she took your information, your sensitive information, and then decided to twist it and turn it on you. Yeah. Yeah, but it's, it, but it's not like she, it was twisted on me. It was directed towards Angie. Do you know what I mean? Like it, it's like she used it to kind of fire shots elsewhere. Yeah, yeah. As for her yeah. own gain. I, I I don't really know how I get to what you're saying. It. She used your information to manipulate the situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly that exactly that and i it's not something that i would want to really bring to the app do you know what i mean but you only shared it because you were sharing it with your friend yeah it be and do you know what gems she had messaged me a few times asked me how i am and stuff like that but it was it was all generic it wasn't like it wasn't caring you know I mean? sort of thing yeah no and do you know what gems right you know tracy yes yeah, so obviously just now saying that i'm a liar <laughs> 
fucking no. Liars. Leave her alone, Kelly. Stop bullying everybody just because they're speaking out about the real person that you are. You don't want. Kelly, you don't you want it. Right off. I'm sorry. Do you know what people are afraid of you? Yeah. And I actually understand why. I'm quite a strong person, even though I'm sensitive. But people are scared of you on this app, and it's true. Yeah, it's true. I never liked um, Chloe at, um, because of you. Yeah, not for any other reason. Because of you, you okay. always had this thing about Chloe. Like, what is your problem? Thank the you, same James. thing that you're crying about now about oh Chloe, you know, you um, you made me and my friend, me and Serena and um, Snell fall out. It's your fault. No, no, no. It's it's not nothing to do with Chloe. It's you. You are the fallout. Do you get it? Yeah. Everyone that comes yeah. near you has some kind of falling out with you and others. And, you know, you don't take accountability for anything, but, you, you know, just you're just selfish. And I realize that now and I'm not scared of you. I'm not scared of you. And you can sit there and say, oh, come meet me. Da, 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 da. You don't want to be having that conversation with me. Trust me, Kels. Trust me. Because I do live in London and I do know where you live and I can come and meet you. But do you know what? I fucking won't because I'm a bigger and better person than you will ever fucking be. And guys, that's it. I'm going to go. I'm going to go now because I'm starting to well, get James, angry. Well, James, listen, well done, James. just let you know, like, we're here if you want to speak. All right. Yeah. Thank you. And Thank you, guys. You're, you're welcome in my life anytime. Yeah, I'm going to block you for my She's just embarrassing, isn't she? Thank you, guys. Up, cool. I just yes, want to mention that I am blocked sweet but sour because I know that you're fine with the comment cafe a lot and yeah, etc. Cool. I just I just find that you know if we're modern we're modern for the host, not on personal feelings. So same. So you see that right? So that's gems, yeah. Now me and gems aren't always got on. But that's a girl who is just come into the box and set and spoke her truth about Kelly. With no influence from me. I never told her to come in here. Do you know what I mean? So it ain't me that's affecting people, Kelly. It's you. And, and you are. Respect. She didn't know what reception she was going to receive either. No, she didn't. Yeah. She was nervous. You could hear it in her voice. But if anybody wants to come into the box on Kelly's behalf, you are more than welcome to come in. Okay? Because this is not a live where it'd be one-sided. You're, me you're welcome to come in. If anybody, if Kelly has affected anybody, you're also welcome to come in. Oh, Christ, she's affected many people, bloody hell. No, well, we know, and I know that a lot of you won't, but... It... And this is why she don't like me, because I will never, ever back down to that woman, and she cannot stand it. That is why I affect yeah. her okay. so much. She only got away with it for a few times, so Poppy, and then it kicked off. Remember when she used to go on about the because I had that echo. Remember that? And I oh lost my, yeah. I lost my shit, didn't I, over it? She's had a ride with Claire. She's yeah. ride with. She's ride with everybody. And let let me just make one thing clear, right? She says that she walked away from this group. No, she didn't. No, she she didn't. got blocked. She yeah. got blocked by almost everybody because they've the seen her. They's, after all that happened, where she went on that live, which I showed you earlier on, and she made those threats towards me, I think people seen her for what she was. So don't sit there, Kelly, and say people have seen you, Chloe, for what you are, because I'm standing in this live with 619 people, Kelly. All right? You've been ranting all day to 64 people. And most of these people are have been affected by you in some way. You're right, Shaz. Yeah. Is it safe? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was gonna make a joke, but I didn't know whether to. I was gonna say Kelly's my bestest friend, and Chloe run my tractor. Oh, shut up, you! <laughs> <laughs> You're not her. And I'm not having it. I want my tractor back. You ain't having the tractor back. It's mine. <laughs> No, seriously, though. Like, I hope everyone's alright. I was just trying to work the mood. It's alright. No, I'm just sick of it, Shez. Like, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of this woman, like, coming at me, coming at me, coming at me, and then constantly lying. Like, you don't I'm turn not, around. I'm not going to lie. She should, that was bang out of order. You can't blame. Like, <sighs> I don't, she said she's only just been diagnosed with bipolar as well, like not being funny, it's not like fucking going to get a box of tissues from Tesco's, you don't just go and get bipolar. No you don't. 
which has kind of made me a bit, I don't know, because I do suffer bipolar. And she shouldn't have blamed self-harm on anybody because, oh shit, SH on anyone because, okay, the emotional side does have an impact on people that have a mental illness, but at the same time, you are responsible for, I don't know how to pull it if I get myself nailed, for doing something. This is the woman, right? The, this this is a woman that um said that her therapist told her that I was a narcissist. A ter a therapist, you mean? <laughs> yeah, no therapists. They don't speak to other people because a therapist wouldn't diagnose you're, you're, somebody like no. That. You're she's not your therapist. She's her therapist, so she's not going to speak on you. So I just yeah. and and she repeats it over and over again that her therapist said that I am a narcissist. She showed her screen recordings of me, and I am a narcissist, and she she stands with it. This woman is a compulsive liar. She lies and lies and lies and lies. You're right, Baza. What do you want, Baza? <laughs> oh, so I'll mute myself then. You're right. Like you like yeah. I, have that <laughs> right. I, don't know, I, got I got a cold worm, and I never get colds, and then I come off. I was just, I forgot what I was going to say. It was about about herself there, and the bipolar business. Yeah, you can tell. You know, and this isn't coming from you, Claire. It's coming from me, right? I'm going to call it now. She hasn't got bipolar at all. She's she's made it up. Okay. And she's made it up because I'm not, I've got bipolar as well. Like it's diagnosed 24 years ago or whatever. It's not it's not something you want for a start. But um, if you're having a manic episode, there'll be people who've got bipolar in the comments. They they'll, they'll understand what I mean. If you're having a manic episode, Baza, two seconds. Can I just stop you before I get any stick for this? This is Baza's opinion, and he has a right yeah. to his opinion. All right, before anybody starts going in, he has a right to his opinion. This woman speaks about this all the time. And, it, you know, it, it's all different times that she's been diagnosed. So he is entitled to his opinion. I'm going to allow him to have his opinion. Yeah, sorry. I don't want to, you know, you know, say something out of line and make it think that you're... No, no, it's fine. It's fine. But I've, I've, people who watch my lives to talk about it a lot. I, 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 don't, um, I don't hide it, stuff like that. And I, I do like to... It, it, like CLA does it. it. It fucks me off, to be honest, when people use it. It doesn't bother me when people say I feel a bit bipolar today, you know, meaning they're feeling a bit up and down. You know, whatever, that's fine. But when people are saying they have it and they're using it as an excuse, because number one, I've never used it as my excuse for, for nothing. And I've tried hard to, you know, if you've got, if you've got some, a condition like that, right, you've got to own it and look after yourself. Yeah? You, can't, you, can't, you can't blame other people for it. Like, so her saying you're triggering it, you're triggering it, is completely, I've never heard anyone in the people... I've got on a few forums with other bipolar people. You know, I've met a few. I don't really like that sort of thing, but whatever. You know, the sort of community, if you like, they people don't go around saying that you're triggering it. You own it, right? But if you're manic, you do not know you're manic. You cannot tell. So my record manic, I think, was around. It was 16 days long, right? And I don't remember the series of events. All I can recall them like that. You can explain it as if you're blackout drunk and you, and you remember a few things, yeah. But at no time during that time was I telling people I was manic because you don't know that you're manic. All right, I was doing some, you know, insanely dangerous things, etc. But I was not telling people I am bipolar and I am in the middle of a manic episode because I do did not know that I was. So from that, if if she's alluding to the fact that she can tell and she can turn it on and off, then I, I would, as from experience, say that that is untrue because that's not correct. And anybody with bipolar will understand that it is not correct. You are unaware completely. And the other thing is, if anyone's ever dealt with a crisis team, yeah, fuck me, they don't come out quick, do they? So that's another thing. I would find it very difficult to believe that she can phone the crisis team and they arrive in a heartbeat. Then maybe down our way they do, I don't know, but across the board again, no don't. no Baza. i'm in scotland and it's not like that you can go to the emergency crisis team in your hospital but they will never respond to you within a couple hours never never and you've heard the horror stories and i've had it before i don't use the crisis team anymore but a long time ago 
you know, I phoned them and obviously I'm not going to say what I was saying, but you can understand how in a bad way I was. And they told me to have a bath, <laughs> a cup of tea, and maybe do some breathing exercises. That's what they told me. They didn't come out to me and I was at the very, you know, saying the worst thing that I could say, if you understand what I mean, without saying it. So the crisis yeah. team, I'm not slagging them off. They're underfunded, they're overstaffed, understaffed, and they're overwhelmed. I do not believe this person for one second had them out instantly. I don't believe they've have a manic episode so for that she's what i would say a liar and i would believe chloe a hundred times over anything that she says that's just my i also opinion. believe that she is about attention now i'm not saying that she doesn't have mental health because it's quite fucking obvious that she does do you know what i mean mm. um but i do believe that when kelly feels backed into a corner she she goes into this victim mentality you know, um, and oh, I've I've done this to myself because of you, and that actually is is manipulation, which is which is a crime. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah Chloe, she's what can she's I doing. actually talk on that? Sorry, Baza. Right, she just what she does. Sorry, Matt. She says she talks okay. about being triggered all the time, but what she's doing when she's talking about you there, Chloe, is she's using triggering words all the time. She's bringing up her mm -hmm. past trauma. And she's saying all this stuff, and, and no one deserves any of that. I'm not saying it's true, and I'm not saying it's not true, none of that. But I am saying it invalidates it when you are using it as a weapon against somebody else. Sorry. But I have never, so, ever, ever, I've never, ever mentioned her childhood abuse. This is no, what I'm well, saying. You haven't, you haven't, right? And something that really does irritate me um, is when people say, you made me SH. Uh, trauma dumping coming. Um, I am someone that has used SH as a coping mechanism, right? And the reason I'm declaring that is because then I can, I can comfortably talk on it um, with facts or facts. Anyways, um, what happens is you can be, I hate this word as well, you can be triggered by something but nobody, and I mean nobody, does that to you. Nobody else is holding anything against your skin. Do you understand? You are the one that does the action. Nobody forces you and nobody makes you. You do the action based upon something that is set off triggering things for you can we just make that clear and stop blaming everyone for the things that you do to yourself and that's it oh sorry i'm just going on mute i'm just literally doing something in the kitchen two sets of you will not want to carry on it's also a very private thing and I find a lot of people um, find it embarrassing. They're embarrassed. It's, it's that, that they've, of shame. You know. The afterwards. Yeah. You know, does it? Don't yes. You it. feel embarrassed by it. That's it. You, you don't. Do it. You don't generally. Big song decide. I'm gonna. Sorry. Carry on. Stay positive. Sorry. I was just gonna say most people that I know of, including myself, who have ever done it in their life, don't generally tell people and hide it. No, they don't. They don't. Like, I've got friends that, um, the SH, and I'm not saying that not that everybody's the same, right? Because we can, um, you know, we can, <laughs> the police and the crisis team are watching me, she said, oh God, oh bless her. God. Um, so I've got friends that, that, have, that have done that and, not everybody is the same right like obviously i can't say that not everybody shows it but most people do keep it to themselves because they don't want to come on on a, on a live and say oh i just done this or oh, you just made me do this in my eyes when you do something like that like and you're saying i done this because of you please take my words is what i'm saying i just done this because of you that is manipulation yeah, it's, yeah it's, like I said, it's, it's, it's totally, look, I'll say, I don't, 
the thing is, you're being very polite there. She's fucking lying, okay? People who do it and then show people, on it's a deeply personal thing, SH, and people cover it up. As everyone here in the comments is saying as well, that's what yeah, it is. It's a cold okay? thing, Let's not amazing. fucking beat about the bush. That's what it is. If you're doing it and fucking showing it all over, whatever social, oh, sorry, again, yeah. social media you like, right, you are mocking it on purpose. Attention-seeking. Okay? You're attention-seeking. That's what yeah. you're doing. And and then that would, but you're not. But people are scared then because what people do is they invalidate it for other. Keep using that word. They invalidate it for real people with real problems because they think I can use this as an excuse. I can use this as attention. No one can criticise me because I can then scream at them and gaslight them and say, yeah, "How dare you? This is S H. How dare you? Well, fuck you. I'll say it because it, you're. It's bullshit and it's everywhere and it's prevalent. Lots of I see loads of it all over fucking TikTok. And it you see it all the time. And, it's and, almost fearing people into silence or oh, we can say that just in case she does that exactly. yeah it's black it's manip it's emotional blackmail and it's manipulation and for her to come on that live this morning and say that i made her do that like how does she not think how that makes me feel like yeah. like how that could potentially have a, a reverse effect on me yeah like by by saying that like it's just not right like it, what is right in your head to come on live and for tracy to sit there and go i hope you're pleased with yourself now chloe like what are you talking about do you seriously think that i would get satisfaction in in, in believing that somebody had done that because of me you ain't no. gonna put it on me kelly i'm not gonna allow you to do it you ain't doing it to me fair play for chloe as well because it, this could be could like you keep saying what what will happen is she will use this and say, oh, it's a hate, you know, look at all in the boxes, all hating on me, triggering me again. But then yeah. if you don't talk about it, what... what she gets away with it, though, Buzz. This is the thing. She gets away with it. And it's all right for... Listen, everyone that knows me now knows I don't hardly ever go live anymore. I don't go live because it does my head in on here. I might go in the boxes every now and again. And yeah, I did call her a freak yesterday, but I never mocked her abuse. I never mocked her being a victim. I have a munch in her past like, or anything like that. And for you, Tracy and Jojo and Gizuelis, to sit in there and allow her to say those things that I mocked her child as ab abuse, you, you, there's something wrong with you all. You need your heads read because, that, because that's just not normal to sit there and agree with somebody saying that when that never came out of my mouth. It's wrong. It's and really, it, really wrong. Just because you're holding someone accountable for their current behaviour is irrelevant to past you know what i mean their past your whole That's a good point there as well that you make yeah. you are allowed to hold people accountable it's not petty and it's not i'll oh, just turn it off and ignore them you are allowed to hold them accountable if they're talking about you all the time and people just say oh chloe just ignore it just ignore it you can do that to a point but why shouldn't you be allowed to actually say to this person who has a track record it Look, I'm not going to put up with it. You're not going to do it to me. You may do it to other people. Can I, can I also just say as well, this, this woman today sat there and said, I can understand why Demi and Tracy said the things they said to you. Wow. Um, what, you so you can understand why those two women have targeted my child for the last year, can you, Kelly? You can understand that, can you? Because all I've ever done with my, all I've ever done with they two is defend myself, and this is what people don't like about me is I will always defend myself. I will always stand up for myself, and there ain't no bugger on this app that intimidates me or scares me. But with Demi and Tracy, I've chose to to ignore it now because it it just gets too much. Do you know what I mean? It gets too much with them. Like they are constant. They are obsessed. Claude, like, can I tell you something? Um, Kelly just tried phoning Jem. Do you want to come up a minute, Jem? I uh, jumped down. So I'll oh, jump down actually, Kelly. Yes. Um, well, thanks for coming in, Baza. It's, it's a form of bullying because she's spoken out about her. So, name. so, so now, yeah, yeah. So now, because Jem is spoken out about her, Kelly's now ringing her. Right. Let me let Jem up. You can just say Oh, for fuck's sake, man. Yeah, so basically, um, I answered the call because it was a private number. I've, I blocked her, and then literally 20 seconds later, she's calling me on private number. And it was it sounded like an echo, like she's put me on loudspeaker, and I can hear Tracy in the background. So she's obviously on her live, and she's going, yeah. and Kelsey's going, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Oh, like, acting as if, like, I called her. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's how it might seem. 
And I just kept saying to her, why are you calling me for? Why are you calling me for? And then she went, oh, shit. And then she put the phone down. Like, and now I just feel like I'm just going to get these stupid calls from her all the time now. She, do you know what? She's... So, because you've come on... on no, guys, you got a, a snake in here, because Catch just said, James is saying she's getting calls from you, So, we have a snake in here, guys. Oh, God. Well, this is probably yeah. this is probably going to happen because there's quite a lot of people in here, to be honest. Yeah, no, um, she called about ten minutes ago. I was I was speaking about it in the comments. Do you know what, Kelly? There's you going on about me when you're told to stop, stop. Why don't you leave people alone? Stop trying to silence everybody because it ain't going to happen. All right, that's what you try and do. You me just before I blocked her, and she goes, right now this might shock people, yeah, but trust me, it's not how you think it is. I said, one minute. One minute. Hold on. I'm on live. All right, James. Could, could somebody... Oh, that's all right. Chloe, just, I know you probably don't want to talk to her yet, but just a suggestion, you know, because everybody has things they want to say to Kelly. It's like when everyone goes in a live and she, they completely get blocked because no one can't say shit to poor Kelly. Maybe is she blocked in here. Yeah, she ain't, she ain't coming in here, mate. I ain't, I don't want anything to do with the woman. Hi, honey. Can I just... I was just thinking maybe should people should just get things off their chest. No, it? listen. How many, times, how many times have I tried to talk to that woman? It ain't that, then, Chez. I know what no, you're I saying. Know, really, I, mean, I mean, as a whole, like, because she'll she just block come in here. She can say what she wants every single time. It's always poor fucking Kelly. She can say what she wants, but whenever anyone else wants to speak they just get blocked and then she'll she won't she won't come life. in here though she says she won't Herself. do that she makes out listen she makes out she's a big 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 I don't, we're not best of friends. If I see her, I say hello, and that is it. Yeah, and that's up to you to do that. Now she's using me. it as an excuse to, to make out like she thingies me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, of course she will. She's you know what I will say is, right? Yeah. If we yeah. all trigger you so much, why are you calm to him? Why are you watching us? <laughs> Stay away from everything that triggers you, you weirdo. Kelly, you've just been shown for the vile, vile person that you are by lying and saying that I mocked your childhood abuse. You're sick, mate. You're sick. Can and I you just need, you need help? Mrs. Tim, please. Yeah, go on, Kaya Ugly. Um, I just want to see if it see if you um go to the crisis team or need the crisis team. I have. I'm not gonna go into why. And they find out what your problem is. And if your problem is something like she says on TikTok, saying that you're a narcissist, I don't know you. I'm not even going to say you are or you're in. But a crisis team will not concentrate on the other person. They are there to concentrate on the person that is not well. Exactly. To focus on what is their problem and how they get to solve their problem. And if they state that someone on TikTok is giving them issues, then the first thing they ask them to do is delete TikTok, stay away from that because you're not to be around anything that triggers you. Yes. So for her to state that the other, whoever it was, turned around and said that you're a narcissist, they are not there to... Oh no, Coyote Ugly, this was her, 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 her therapist told her that I was a narcissist apparently. Chloe, I wish you would say it properly. Properly, it's therapist, that ain't eh? therapist. <laughs> but uh, honestly, it is not the the therapist to diagnose you or anyone else. Their focus is on the person that is not well, the person that needs the treatment, the however you want to put it, whatever it is they need. And another thing is, see, if you do anything like that, you don't tell anyone because I know I didn't. It's not something you you don't want anyone to stop you. You don't want anyone to kind of intervene in that. You want to get on with what you're doing and not get interrupted in anything. 
and the therapist is there to see you through whatever is triggering you and you get away from the thing that is triggering you. So yeah. if you come out and see what she said, it's totally wrong. If you see a therapist or a therapist, if you see <laughs> any of them, it is classed as it's not discussing anyone else. So a fact she is talking out of her backside. Yeah, well, she's a compulsive liar, so we don't believe anything she says anyway. Like, she, apparently the crisis team and the police are watching me. <laughs> uh, I think they've got better things to do than sit on you. Uh, the yeah, crisis team, that's mind how it, it works. Who haven't got, they haven't got the capacity to see the people they need to see, so they're going to be sat there watching TikTok. Yeah, got nothing better to do. <laughs> anyway, I only come up to state that with all, so I'm just going to drop down now. Thank you, Coyote Ugly. No to be honest it. with you, I think those kinds of services are probably sick of TikTok. Yeah, sick and fed up of TikTok. Fuck's sake. But cool. Hey, hey, the therapist. Hey, I please. think that's Curtis and Banshee, though, to be honest, Mazza. I am the crisis team tap and share the life, for God's sake. <laughs> Oh, so basically, I just wanted to get it off my chest about what she's done today and how this is all escalated. And obviously, if you do hear her talking about me and saying that I mocked her childhood trauma, please show me any recording where I've ever, ever mentioned her childhood trauma. But this woman is, is that unstable, but continues to sit on this app and say that everything triggers her, but still continues to, to stay on this app. Do you know what I mean? And you ain't going to do it to me, Kelly. Yeah, you might be a bully and you might be you might have always been a bully. You might have been a prison, but you ain't going to bully me. You never you're never going to be able to do it. And that is why I affect you so much, because I those two people. You do. You do. I mentioned them in a message to Stacey last night as an example of people that you have treated like shit. That is my opinion. I'm entitled to say Serena's name if I want to, and I will carry on saying Serena's name if I want to. Serena is also my very good friend. I think you seem to forget that. She's my very good friend. And I would never do anything to make Serena feel uncomfortable or to to make her feel any worse than what she already does. I wouldn't do that. But you, however, must have mentioned their names about 20 times from last night to today, telling me to shut my mouth. <laughs> I love these new English lessons we've got. I'm glad you said that properly. No, fuck Keep you your mouth And it ain't gonna shut. happen because I ain't gonna shut my mouth, all right? So <laughs> you can fret, you can fret at me all you like. You can continue to sit there and say that I am the the reason I affect your bipolar. Every everything affects you. Everything triggers you. The fucking weather triggers you, mate. Get off the app if you're that triggered. But you won't get off the app, will you? Because the app is all you got in your life. Because you're a very lonely woman, and I can you see know, why. She's messaged me and saying, oh, you changed your tune about Chloe. Yeah, I have changed my tune about Chloe because you know what? Sometimes when you're in a situation, you don't really see things for what they are. And yeah. when I was off the app, yeah. even though I was off the app, I do have, like everyone else, has a, have a sneaky account. And I was watching yeah. you, Kels, and I did see how fucking fake you really were. Yeah, and you stab every fucking person in the back. And what I've seen from Chloe... Right from sneak. Sorry, Chloe. I do sneak watch you. It's all right. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, you know she's done nothing but fucking stand up for herself against you because you're a vile piece of fucking shit. I'm gonna drop now. Thank you. Thank you Jan. for letting Thank me. Up. No worries. And this is it. This is it. Right. If she can sit there and call me a bully, but it's not bullying when you stand up for yourself, which is what I have done. I have stood up to her, and she don't like it because she can't. She can't. Um, she can't silence Manipulate me. You. She can't do it. Well, how many times? Well, how many times have me and you clashed Chloe over Kelly? Exactly. exactly. Because I thought I was doing the right thing by being a, a um a friend. Because obviously I knew her before you by sticking up for her. But yeah, every time I've been there for her, she still fucking shits on everyone. Like she shits on she does yeah. she shits on whether you're a friend or not. She'll still shit on you one day. Sorry, could I just quickly talk with Sam? Yeah, go on, Jade. Sorry, I forgot you was there. <laughs> Say it quick. Oh. <laughs> um, first of all, I do just want to do like a quick 
mental health check on not just everybody in the box, but everybody in the comments as well. And just know that, like, there are people out there that can help you. So if you are in a bit of a dark place, just there's, there's no sh shame in reaching out. Um, and also, I just wanted to quickly talk about, um, just from what I've seen with what went on with Julie, and I hope she doesn't mind me talking about this, because I know it was spoken about earlier. I noticed a big change in Julie, not in a horrible way, when I think it was going on for at least two, three days when they were just constantly mocking her voice. Emotionally ripping her apart. Yeah. yeah. And I was, I was constantly in her lives, you know, we were all trying to cheer her up and have a laugh and whatnot. And I could, you could hear in her voice how sad she she got, and it upset me because I I class Julie as a, a friend of mine. You know? I opened up to her this morning, saying, you know, I wasn't in a good place, um, and I was just taking time for myself, and I didn't want anybody to worry. Mm -hmm. And it absolutely broke me seeing that. And then I heard her going, trying to go for Jeffrey, which made no sense because he doesn't stay involved in, dra in drama he was mentioning barry paula nanny d everyone in this big group has all been there for me. they've helped my mental health more than what they actually understand you know just being there having these funny happy lives so if all of these people including chloe so bad how is it that them doing these lives has actually helped exactly. my mental health and i don't know whether it's just me having baby brain or whether it sounds silly or whatnot but it's awful seeing the stuff that she says and how it's really affecting people yeah i what what she doesn't seem to understand is that she was going after Julie for something that Julie can't change. Oh, hang on, hang on, Joe. Let me just put this in there a minute because I know Yvonne is here, but like, and I don't want to talk over you, Yvonne. And you, you know, you can speak at any time. Do you know what I mean? Because I know that you, you really have taken a lot, especially the last couple of weeks. <laughs> and what she's done to you is utter bullying. So how she can come at anyone else for bullying, I'll never know. Because what she's done to mm. you is disgusting, and I know how it feels because she's done it to me. But she's coming at Yvonne. But but for some of the, she sat with Yvonne for months and months and months when she knew about it, and now all of a sudden. All of a sudden, she 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 don't she's throwing it in Yvonne's face when she sat with Yvonne for months, knowing that. So how does that make sense? Yeah, exactly. It doesn't make sense to me, but then Snell's detachment is really rubbing off <laughs> me. I'm so detached. It's, not, it, it's, it's it's like it's it's spread through the phone. I I could be in a box and I'm just like away with the fairies most of the time. I remember her going at you, Jodie, a while back. Yeah. A while, a while back, because I was, I was around that part, part yeah. then. Yeah, I, I will say with that, that was mostly on me. It was, I was in a extremely dark place. I was sitting with a few other people who, one of them I won't me mention, I vouched to never say her name again. And because I was in a dark place, how I felt to deal with it was lie and try and push everyone away because I was in that much of a dark place. You don't need to explain yourself, Jodie. You are, no, we, we already knew this. But. but it's just how that made me feel. It did really hurt. And it was painful to do, but it's just how I cope. Now I have new ways of coping, so much better ways of coping. Is my mental health the best? <laughs> it's, it's not. It's not. And I've been telling a lot of jokes about it. And just an FYI, I am now having the crown of best dad jokes because I am absolutely hilarious, even if people don't want to admit it. <laughs> 
<laughs> Jodie, no, no one's mental. Like everyone's got mental health, and no one's mental health is going to be like on the world. Yeah. We're go we're going to have off days. We're going to have down days, and there is things that w people shouldn't do or should do. It's just a roller coaster of a role, to be honest, Jodie. Like that was back then, but the way she went at ya, I don't agree with it. And can I just say as well, like the thing with Kelly is like it's it's like her mental health is the worst. Nobody's been through what she's been through, you know. Is is nobody understand? No, we probably don't understand. Like because we're all different. Like we've all been through different stuff in our lives. So do you know what I mean? Like nobody. It's not a competition about yeah. who's on what pissing tablets and who goes to the most therapy. Like, and that's all it ever is in our lives. Is oh my my trauma my therapy my bipolar my eupd this is why i'm like this because i had an episode or oh, i just changed my tablets like you cannot use your mental health as an excuse for being a shitty person yeah. like because it's a competition all the time like if, if we've been through it she's done it 10 times because over. that's what you do kelly you you use your mental health as an excuse to get away with your behavior because that's all you've clearly done in your whole life is used it as an excuse for the way that you behave well i'm sorry kelly but there's many of us that have got mental health there's many of us that have been through trauma many of us have been through dvd at uh, dvd fuck's sake <laughs> many of us have been through dv but that don't mean that we get to go around acting like shitty people and then it, and then getting a free pass for it yeah do you know what i mean because it's just I'm, not go on, what sorry, i'm about to say now cheryl will probably agree with me because again me and cheryl have known kelly for quite a long time we've both known her at the same time Anyone that she dislikes, nobody else can be friends with, even if they haven't done anything wrong to them. Yeah. Oh, we know that. Yeah, definitely. Everyone's had VHS. Don't bring, don't bring me into this shit. <laughs> I ain't relevant. Okay, you're not. We were, we were around her at the same time. Oh, I'd just like, I'd just like to say one thing. Is it just yeah. one thing, though, Buster, or is it ten? <laughs> well, well, you know, you know me, so it might be one, it might be two. You know, it's a, it's, a bit, it's a bit of a pick and mix with me, to be honest. You know, I'm we old get, school, mate. We got, bring we got, Woolworths back. Bring Woolworths back to the high street. That's we, what I say. We we got to get through the goodbye speech yet. <laughs> through the goodbye speech yet <laughs> in the room and that's it it's all about kelly so we all know it it's all true it's all true and it's all a load of nonce but just one thing i need to say where's my fucking chair <laughs> god's sake that bloody chair love you oh. all bye bye buster that got fucked out the window and apparently the night before it back a week later yeah Christ, <laughs> that was the quickest goodbye speech i've ever heard from buster he must be practicing. Um, also, I just want to touch on Tracy Twinkle Tits because I know she'll be watching because she's always watching us, bless her. Now, let me just tell you something about Tracy. So when I first come into contact with Tracy, it was actually through Paula um, and Gems. Gems was obviously there as well. Now, they obviously had their, their fallout or whatever it was. And then Tracy tried to become very close to me. This is a woman now who can't stand me and is blaming me for somebody's SH mind. But that woman actually tried to befriend me to the point where she had my number. She would WhatsApp me. She always wants to know what's going on, who's going on on what live, always wanted me to go live or oh, go live, go live. Yeah, go and go and talk about it on live all the time. Um, and then she got a little bit... <laughs> I don't know what the word is, but she got a little bit obsessive because if I didn't message her back, now anybody that's got my number knows that I'm not the best at messaging back straight away. Um, and I also don't always answer the phone. Well, Tracy would ring me quite often. And if I didn't answer the phone, she'd then start messaging other people going, have you heard from Chloe today? Does Chloe, does Chloe answer your phone calls? Always just me being paranoid. Does she answer? And it was getting a little bit, a little bit obsessive. Then she she basically made out that I had really upset her because we was all laughing and joking and I said she was from the Stone Ages because she's always like about six years behind. I don't know if she does it on purpose or what, but she's always <laughs> like, what? What's going on? Who's that? Like I just, so I just used to take the mic and say, oh, shut up, Trace. You're still living in the Stone Ages. Stone, Stone, Stone Ages. So apparently she took that really hard um, to the point where she was crying 
Um, so obviously when she WhatsApped me and told me about it, I was absolutely mortified that I made her feel that way. Um, because again, I'm not somebody that wants to make someone feel that way. That's just not the person I am. But now I think about it, I feel like she wanted my attention. Yeah. I feel like she wanted my attention because she wasn't getting my attention. Um, and the reason that me and Tracy have fallen out, well, actually the reason that Tracy turned her back on me was because she, when a certain thing went on and she went over to, Ke uh, to, Ke to Yvonne's live after they'd obviously left Paula's live because a certain somebody was in there, which was fine, but then got carried on and Tracy turned around and went, oh, big up everybody for leaving that live. And all I turned around and said was, Tracy, you're so fucking immature. And she's never spoke to me since. And she's called me a bitch. She's called me, well, as you've seen it today, oh, oh, I hope you're happy with yourself now, Chloe. This was somebody who really wanted to be my friend. Do you know what I mean? So that just goes to show what Tracy is. She's also sh shit on Paula as well. So that just goes to show what sort of person she is. She's always watching us. She says she don't get involved and that she don't talk about us. The woman, I don't, she's just so far behind everything. I don't know what planet she's on when she says, we don't even talk about them. Like, are you in the same live or what? Because you certainly do talk about us. But yeah. Anyway, listen, does anyone else want to say, Yvonne, do you want to, do you want to speak? Yvonne. Oh, bless her. She's saying you called her all the time, even her, even her daughter just... I never rang her all the time. Listen, anybody that knows me knows that I, I am not the one that rings people. I'm a nightmare. Tracy, you used to ring me all the time and I didn't answer your calls. And when I didn't answer your calls, you would go and ring everybody else and message everybody else. I've even got some of the messages that you sent people. Okay? And that is a fact. And you would ask people, is Chloe spoke to you? Have you spoke to Chloe? It was getting a little bit obsessive, mate. So then you decided to turn around and say, oh, yeah, she really upset me when she said I was from the Stone Ages. So you decided to say that to get my attention. Well, it worked, didn't it? Because I actually felt sorry for you and I did feel bad that I'd hurt you because that's the sort of person I am. But you've chose your, you've chose your person now, Tracy, haven't you? And it won't be long before she turns on you, like she turns on everybody else. She already speaks to you like shit and you sit there and take it. And you want to moan about me? Yeah, all right. Wow, Chloe, you know there's a lot of things I could say, but I'm too scared because of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Yvonne, do you want to speak? If Yvonne doesn't speak, can I just say one more thing? Yeah, go on. Um, I have had permission off the person to say it. She wants me to say it, but it is it is Tink Clark. Obviously, her and Cal were friends for quite a substantial amount of time. Oh, not another person she's affected. <laughs> another one, unfortunately, Clive. Oh, God, I knew this anyway. But obviously, Go Tink's going through the most shittest time of her life at the minute, and it's probably not in the best like, mental state. But Cal just had to have, had, add her 10 piece per worth in, didn't she? And make, make her situation a whole lot worse. But she didn't really think about Tink's like, mental no, health. No, she didn't. Farm. She just thinks about her fucking self. I did mention Tink at the start, Kate, then, before you yeah, came yeah. in. Um, because the way she's treated Tink and the way she treated Felicity, and Felicity has not had any input in this. This is just me saying what I see. The way she treated Felicity was disgusting and the way she treated Tink was disgusting. So, yeah. you know, I and... Tink has been up like, stupid clock in the night, like in the morning when people have been slagging her off and sighting her and she was there to back her up and, and she didn't even yeah, get she was. thank you for it. I know. Felicity wanted to talk to her once, right? And she was on a live and she wanted to talk to her. So she came into the box and she said, oh, Carol, can you ring me a minute, please? I really need to speak to you. And she went, what? What? I'm not, why have I got to ring you? I'm on my live. Like that could have been somewhat really important. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And yet she makes out that she's this fucking person who everybody messages in inbox, like, because she's so good at checking on people. Listen, the, the, the people you've got around you, Kelly, speaks volumes. Like, you have, you have had arguments with absolutely everybody on this app. Everybody. 
So she even tried to argue with me <laughs> and start on me over a video that I didn't even post. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody not realise something about Kelly though? She always starts on youngers. Yeah. yeah, she does. And listen, right, she sits there going on, oh, you're old enough to be my daughter, young enough to be my daughter. Why are you entertain me, entertaining me then, Kelly? Because you can't help it because you're obsessed with me and you're affected by me. You can't help it. And actually, yeah, my mum's three years older than you <laughs> and it is embarrassing the way you go on at somebody my age. It's embarrassing. Well, but funny you, you said that because... Remember, uh, remember when well, I don't know if you, I don't know if you know. Me and Kelly had a proper bad fallout. She was threatening to come to my house. I sent her the address. Obviously, she's all mouth and didn't come. And um, then I find out that I'm actually the same age as her daughter. I know. So, oh, I, I remember happened? that because I was around at that time. Hello, hello, Felicity. Oh, Sorry, I did. No, no, it's fine. I was. I did. Me. I did just mention you, but I've just said you haven't had any, like you know, you haven't yeah. had any input in me saying what I said. Mm -hmm. Um, so I hope you don't mind. No, but. no, it's fine. It's fine. <clears throat> I was going to wait for everyone to speak before I said anything. Go yeah, on. I know about the Kelly show, then it's not nothing. Yeah, she, she I was uses... really concerned for Kelly's mental health, um, which is why I was stood by her side in the boxes. I had a back. How many times did I have to argue with everyone? Because you did. I had her back. Um. It come to the time with that Joe Joe situation, and there was a big argument, and it was all in Kelly's box, and she didn't believe anything that was said until the point Joe Joe locked a post about her. Oh no, she's she's this, she's that. Before that, she was lagging me off because I, I went out the box. I heard, I heard everything, and then she was like, "No, I believe you. I believe you." Um, there's been a lot, there's been a lot with everything that Alex did after that, but when, when she rang me that night to like, go, go, go ring him, go text him, make it all right. And I'm like, well, I haven't done anything, pal. I just said the truth. And then the next day I got blanked by her. She's stood in the box, sat in the box with Alex while he's slacking me off and she's calling me a snake. Still wasn't angry with her. Um, <coughs> And I just thought, does, she just can't see two sides. She can't have two friends and think, I'll just, you know, this is between them. She had to take a side and I was no benefit to her, but Alex was. So, yeah, I, all I did, and I still, I, we haven't even had an argument. But there was no blow up. I just, I just thought, I'm sick to death of having people's backs that don't have mine. And, and she's losing a lot of people around her, a lot of people, because... She's so obsessed with you, Chloe, and it is. I spoke to you. She can't. Can stop. you see it now? Yeah, I could see it before, Chloe. I could see it before, but yeah. like I said to you, like it's not something I can go to her and say, "Please stop, stop." Oh, I know. She would have listened to me. I don't understand. Like it's, it's almost like it's a competition. She's like, "I'm not the problem." She is. How can I be the problem? Like you're. You're talking about me all the time. Like, there's not a day goes by. Like, you're giving me Demi vibes, Kelly. Like, you're giving me Demi vibes now because there's not a day that goes by that you don't talk about me. And all this crap about Serena and Snell, about, oh, she's just... And Tracy, you talk the most shit. Oh, it's been the last couple of days. What are you talking about? I was on holiday for five days. Like, so what are you talking about? And at the end of the day... I have. I didn't even know that Snell was talking to her. I didn't even know that she'd messaged Serena. I didn't have a clue. So it's nothing to do with me wanting to split their... I don't care about Serena and Snell being friends with Kelly. I don't give a shit. Get it into your head, Kelly, that I don't care. Yeah? You are the one with the issue. Yeah? You always have been. You can't stand it that they are friends with me. You don't want to share them because you're like a child. You're like, you're obsessed, you're controlling, like, and you can't stand it. You can't stand it that me and Serena are really good friends. It eats you up inside. It's like, it's like a disease that eats through you. It's and jealousy. You ain't ever, ever going to stop it. You're never going to stop me and Serena being friends, never. And I, would ne yeah. and I would never stop any of you being friends because I'm not interested. I don't care. Serena mm. and Snow are fully grown women. Like, they're she's, she's jealous of you because you've got I a know she is. what she is. 
Like, I've spoke with Chloe this whole time, but she never knew about it. She never knew, because I don't fucking tell her Jesus Christ. She'd have been down my neck. But it comes like, down... Chloe's not a bad there. person. No, she's not. But <sighs> well, certain people have got certain opinions on Chloe because of My Kelly. problem was, when she was talking about you, I wouldn't get in the box. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not doing this. But then it comes to the point where you couldn't bloody avoid it. If you get in that box, she's going to talk about anyone. But it comes exactly. to the point where you're enabling her. And I know many of you have tried to help Kelly and be there by her soul, but unfortunately, you can't help someone that doesn't want to be helped. She don't want to be helped. Because she's too far gone. All she wants cool. is, a, is a... Yeah. I believe, I might be wrong, but it's Twinkle Tixie's daughter that's in here feeding everything back. Yeah, Chloe's oh. just sitting, Chloe's Nadine, just sitting why don't home. you come in the box and have a chat with me? If you're watching. You know what? A lot of this will be sorted if people just fucking came into life and be open and honest and just went, this is how I feel instead of... I'm not you know, you know, She made it very clear when I was speaking about things that was going on with Alex. Um, mm. She went live and was like, she's been speaking about me. She's saying I'm blackmailing her with Alex. <coughs> <coughs> let's not talk about kids, please, in the comments. Because that oh. Chloe doesn't do that either. Yeah, let's not go. Let's talk about kids. So she made it about her when it had nothing to do with her. I had to mention her name because she was in a certain situation. That's the only reason why I had to mention her name because she was in that situation. But other than that, I didn't bring her name up. And then she's like, you're saying this, poor Alex. What about Alex men's mental health? I'm sorry you want me to give a shit about Alex's mental health after what he did to mine. So she just, she couldn't see it. She's so far up Alex's ass now. That's it. It's done. Oh, no. And if Twinkle Tits thinks that she's safe and not, Kelly ain't going to switch upon her, more fucking fool her. Thing is, so originally she was going for Alex. Exactly. I, it, none of it makes sense, does it? Look, even Tink, even Tink came out the other day and she said, to, uh, Alex has told Tink the only reason why he's close to Kay is because she was close to Tink. So, yeah, that, that's why that's... <coughs> the, the, she's obsessed with Alex. Like, mm -hmm. she literally gets involved in everything that, that goes on with him. Like she's his like his saviour or something. It's actually pretty creepy. Like Alex is say, like if you knew he was gonna blackmail you, why didn't you record the phone call? Sorry, Cal. I didn't realise someone's gonna blackmail you before the flipping ring, yeah. It's God, weird. Actually, those people who record calls. I've never recorded a phone call in my life, but I will say this, I never went on that live and said anyone blackmailed me i went on and discussed what the conversation was people was like that's blackmail i think i'm gonna go he blackmailed me oh, it's just mad isn't it anyway i'm gonna wrap it up now guys but um because i've got to go and watch the football did you have an arse holiday Chloe? oh i did thanks it was absolutely lovely apparently though i shouldn't have been on tiktok whilst i was on holiday you know what? You do what the fuck you like. Everyone had a discussion about me saying, oh, she's on fucking TikTok on this and me. Listen, I had the best holiday, mate. Absolutely. Best five days. Amazing. When's your next one? Because can you pack me in your suitcase and just leave me there the next time? Yeah, it's 300 days. I'm on countdown already, all right? That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I just like it a one way. Yeah. Someone just said in the comments they're not on about me, are they? I don't, I don't think they are, are they? I think it's uh, Twinkle's daughter's just had a baby, ain't you? No. Yeah, oh, she, well, she oh, a while ago, yeah, yeah, a little while ago. Oh no, I don't think those on about me. My my kids in my arms, so no you are. But um, yeah, listen, I just. <laughs> I just, to be fair, like, I feel like I have to defend myself, which is never right. But when somebody's coming on saying that you're mocking their childhood abuse. Oh, look at him. Which, which quite clearly him. you've, it's just, it's wrong. This woman is, it's not well. You know, blaming me for SH and it's just crazy. Oh.